Hi everyone. Spine chilling wind is coming from the east. The Russian military is gearing up to revoke US dominance in space, the one and only field where US really pulled ahead of Russia. It's time to end their reign by calling old warriors back to fight. The nearly forgotten Russian anti-space threat doctrine is back on tracks and full steam pushing towards first live trials. The old warrior I have mentioned before is Russian legendary interceptor MiG-31. The younger brother of MiG-25 has been overhauled for its last mission which is to wipe the deck with US low Earth orbit satellites. A few months ago, an unknown type of MiG-31, most likely based on MiG-31D variant was spotted and by accident photographed by aviation hobbyist near the Grima Flight Research Institute located within the facilities of the Zhukovsky airfield southeast of Moscow. The picture was published throughout the Russian internet and has been taken down by the government soon after. The photographed machine was carrying a huge missile mounted under the hull, nearly the half of the size of the aircraft and resembled the infamous Kinjal, the supersonic nuke. Those who had enough time to analyze the picture spotted a slightly bulkier neck and elongated nose cone. Those two areas were modified to harbor a new radar and communication systems. Shooting down something from the lower Earth orbit has to be a lot different from downing a bomber. The missile mounted under the belly of the MiG-31 had to be a deeply upgraded variant of Kinjal. There is no way that standard missile is capable of reaching space. It may be used as a base to swiftly deliver the warhead as high as it gets, then to detach the main body and fire the main rocket booster engine. It is the only way to deliver anything into space. A super-fast missile like Kinjal, has the ability to push the main rocket-propelled payload to the limits of our atmosphere. It is a very important point, if it wasn't for Kinjal to push high enough, the designers would have to consider another airplane as the carrier. The MiG-31 although huge and powerful, wouldn't be able to drag a heavy rocket high enough to deploy it, or even lift it from tarmac for that matter. Rocket engines are insanely fuel-hungry and fuel weights a lot. A good combination I must say, a very smart combination of atmospheric and space propulsion in one package. There was a second picture, which surfaced before Christmas, also being swiftly removed, depicting a bulkier hull. It may have been the exact same type of MiG-31 but represented in a different light. I don't think that they have managed to plan, execute and test a modified fuselage, it was only 3 month difference from picture to picture. So, bulkier or not, the modified MiG-31 is going to be the very first satellite killer jet fighter and I hope to never see it in action. By the way, the Soviets started the program named 30P6 Contact in 1991 with MiG-31D and prototype anti-satellite missile 79M6, due to rising cost and the end of the Soviet Union the program was halted. In 2009, it was silently relaunched and since the buffed 31 was spotted with payload, there is a chance that it is going to be ready for deployment in the nearest future. It is highly advised for the USA to consider moving some military budget towards protecting their own satellites, before it's too late and when the satellites are gone, it is going to be basically game over. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for updates. Share like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Take care and see you next time.